One of the best pieces of advice I ever got has been don't be clever. Don't try to create a story thinking that this is what people want to hear. Speak from your heart. I know it's hard. We're programmed at an early age that if we take chances, if we speak from our heart, we're going to fail. But you know what? The best leaders, the best directors are the ones who are storytellers that speak from the heart. They're authentic. You know, we will never say the theme of our movie, ever. You would hate us if we told you the theme of our movies because it wouldn't be authentic. You want people to feel the theme. You want people to feel the, if you never let anything happen to Nemo, nothing will ever happen to him. You don't want to say it. You don't want to ever say the mission statement to your clients or potential clients. That's for you. You want people to feel the mission statement. You want it to be authentic. And then, you want to make sure that you wrap all of these great story tools in a way that's going to have good pacing and timing so that when you deliver the information, when you do the pitch, when you do the presentation at the board meeting, that you do it in a way that has a setup, a build, and a payoff. I can't tell you how many times people have wonderful content, they have a great you know, way to connect, but the delivery was awful. Because for thousands and thousands of years, we have been delivering stories the same way, with a beginning, middle, and end. Why do we do this? Because this is the way the world has been. A beginning of the day, a middle of the day, an end of the day, a cycle of life. That's why we love Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3, the hero's journey. So you want to make sure that when you share stories, whether they're three minutes, whether they're 90 minutes, they have a beginning where you set up the ordinary world and then you set up a problem, right? For example, Woody, favorite toy in the room, problem, a cooler toy arrives. Middle of the room, Woody tries to get rid of Buzz, but it causes both of them to get kidnapped by Sid, a kid that likes to torture toys for fun. Woody and Buzz hate each other, but they have to work together. And by the end, Woody has learned to be less selfish. Buzz has learned that even though he's not the real Buzz Lightyear, he's still an important toy. And they get back to their owner. A beginning, middle, and end. And you know what a great story does? A great story makes you feel something. Because we are way beyond marketing to sell people stuff. We are selling a feeling. We're selling a story. We want people to feel something. 